IAFF members understand that a friendly mayor and city council can ensure fair wages and safe staffing, and that an anti-union governor can undermine your retirement security. But does the American president or the Canadian prime minister actually have an impact on your job, your workplace, and your livelihood? History tells us that the simple answer is yes. Absolutely, they have a major impact. In both countries, the leader sets budgets and other priorities. George W. Bush, on multiple occasions, tried to zero out funding for the SAFER and the Fire Acts, programs that keep fire departments staffed and adequately resourced. This union was able to override his recommendation, but had he prevailed, fire departments across the country would not have had much needed funding for critical staffing, equipment, and training. On the other hand, when it came time for President Obama to act on those two important programs, he and Vice President Biden worked directly with us to rewrite safer regulations, to give jurisdictions the ability to get safer funds with no strings attached, no matching funds, to keep our members on the job and bring back those who had been laid off during the Great Recession. This administration's direct intervention saved and protected nearly 15,000 IAFF jobs. The president also sets policy. One president issued formal statements urging Congress to defeat collective bargaining for firefighters. His successor urged Congress to pass IAFF-sponsored legislation and actively lobbied for its passage. The real power of the presidency is behind the scenes. Bill Clinton used executive orders to compel NIOSH to investigate every line of duty death. He also instituted the two-in, two-out standard for fireground safety. And the current administration used executive orders to expand overtime entitlements and strengthen union rights. Who is running the country, whether it's the U.S. or Canada, does matter. And that's why this IAFF engages in politics so strongly at the national level.